Space is Sims, and we are back with more Necca Potter Cat Boys Paradise. And I realize that we normally start from here when I start the new route, but whatever, we're here now. It's fine. We are going to do our final route, which is Best Boy Fennel. I'm quite excited for this. And then we will listen to our voice acting at the end. Anyway. Laurier and Dill, you can serve the customers out front. Okie dokie, time to put my training into practice. Yeah, guess I'll do my part. Sage, you and the mistress can join me in the kitchen. You want me to cook and, or make the drinks? The drinks, if you please. The mistress can handle the cooking. Actually, I don't believe I've even asked if you have any cooking experience. Hmm, you would say you have an average amount? Uh, good, then I'll leave the cooking in your hands. Yes, I'll be right here, so if you have any concerns, or if there's something you've never made before, please don't hesitate to speak up. I'll show you how to make it so you can do it on your own next time. Do you think I'm being too strict with you? I'm sorry. I'm just a little surprised by your answer. I didn't expect you to say I should be even more strict. Um, hi, tie me up. What? Nothing? Nothing. No, but seriously, I wouldn't... You could... That's fine. You were aware of your own ex inexperience in running a cafe, which is why you'd like me to hold you to a high standard? I understand. I have high hopes that you'll do well under my tutelage. I'll do well under you. What? God damn it! What is wrong with me? It's this game! It's Fennel! He's gort! Why? Oh my god. I need a drink. I'm all thirsty. <laughs> we have an order. One egg sandwich and one Americano. One more egg sandwich over here, too, and a regular coffee. One Americano and one coffee, yeah? I'm on it. And do you know how to prepare the egg sandwich? And then I shall leave you to it. Please let me know when it's ready. I would give you 30 points out of 100. Firstly, the filling is poking out. Minus 20 points. The fried egg is slightly burnt. Minus 30 points. And it took too long for you to make it, which is minus another 20 points, for a total of minus 70. Yikes. And no, you don't need to apologize. If this were to be eaten at home, I would not grade it so harshly. The taste is satisfactory. All you need to work on are the presentation and reducing the preparation time. I shall remake it. Yes, please watch and learn. I'm fine at cooking in my own house, but I don't think I could cook for presentation, you know? And there we go. Finished. Oh my god, he sparkles! I know it's supposed to be his egg sandwich, but this motherfucker sparkles! He just... He's so glorious. He's our glasses-wearing catboy robot who wears a sexy-ass fucking suit with a vest, a pocket watch, and he sparkles! I didn't think he could get better, and he sparkles! Ah! CG's better be motherfucking phenomenal, is all I'm saying. I have high expectations. Well, no, I... Not expectations. I have high standards for what I expect for his CG. You know what I'm saying! They better be fucking good or I'm gonna be pissed. You ready with that egg sandwich? My customer's waiting for theirs, too. I apologize for the wait. Please deliver these to the customers. Oh, wow! Looks yummy! So it's true! You really can whip up about... about you can... You really can whip up just about anything, huh? Wow. I can't read or talk. <laughs> I have another order! Table five, one hash beef rice, and a milk tea to follow the meal. Coming right up. Yeah, okay, thanks. You want to help? Please go ahead and chop the onion, then. Another order here. One fruit... Uh, one fruit sandwich and an iced coffee. You finished chopping the onion? Might I ask you to make the fruit sandwich? I'll come check on you in a moment. Fruit sandwich? I mean, I think I've seen those, like, literally, like, you have the bread, and then there's, like, some kind of, like, whipped cream or creamy stuff, and then, like, actual, like, sliced strawberries or something. But it just seems weird to me. Because I know when you're, like, fruit sandwich, you're like, what? No, I can picture them in my head. It's still just the, wait, what? No, there's just some things that I don't think belong in bread. And fruit is one of those. But then again... Japanese bread is drastically different than American bread. And even though American bread is like 90% fucking sugar, I still think 
I'm trying to picture, I mean, I guess if it's like freaking like white bread, but like I'm picturing my like whole wheat bread and being like, let me put like a layer of fucking cream cheese and then fucking like some freaking strawberries in there. And yeah, I just, I just don't want to, but yet you'll eat a pop tart, but that's like different than bread. Like it's different. Like, Crescent rolls, maybe, like, but, like, bread, I don't know, like, it just seems weird. Look, some people don't like pickles with, like, I'm like, chicken, but I like pickles and chicken. Pickles on a chicken sandwich are delicious. Pickles on egg salad are fucking delicious, but, like, a fruit sandwich seems weird to me. I don't know. Again, it's probably a different type of bread, but I'm just... Picture and Wonder Bread, and I just don't think I can do it. I don't really know what the cream, like, you know, whatever this is, like, whipped cream, like, whatever the... I don't really know what it is. I don't know how to make a fruit sandwich, because it's just one of those things that you're like, i just going to go with... It's probably delicious, but it seems odd. Like fish for breakfast. It's just... It's just... I can't... But there's a lot of people who are like, why are you eating pancakes and waffles for breakfast? Those are dessert. But you're like, no, but that's any time. You can eat it for breakfast, or you can eat it for dessert. But like, and you can eat eggs for breakfast or lunch or dinner. You can eat eggs anytime you want. But fish and certain things, like chicken. I can't eat chicken for breakfast. It's weird. Like, I mean, I guess if it's like some kind of chicken in like a Southwestern omelet or something. Like, okay. But like, not like chicken and waffles. Fuck you. What the hell? Why are you? No, don't. No, gross. I Look, I just have a weird thing with certain foods at certain times. And it's just bizarre. Breakfast can be eaten at any time. Okay. But you don't eat dinner for breakfast. It's weird. Like, but like cold pizza you could? I just... <laughs> I never said anything in my brain makes fucking sense. And I realize that the more I'm talking about this. Like, wow, nothing... My head doesn't make sense. Like, I don't... Okay. Peanut butter and jelly, though. Like, jelly. I don't... Wouldn't eat just a jelly sandwich. But you could. And that's technically a fruit sandwich, I guess, if you think about it. So... I just, <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? Is everything going well? No, I'm having a crisis because now I'm just realize how weird I am about certain food in certain times. So I'm going to sit in the corner and think about this. You finished chopping the fruit. Allow me to take a look. The pieces are rather uneven. Hmm. I see you used a regular knife. I recommend using a smaller knife when cutting fruit. See what a clean cut it makes. And now that you've finished slicing the fruit, place the pieces on top of the bread. And take care how you arrange them. If you lay them diagonally like so, you can create a beautiful cross-section. There, finished. Everything he does is glitters. Wow. I love this man. It's so pretty that it seems like a shame to eat it. See this? You just put fruit on bread. That's weird. You didn't put any kind of cream, any kind of thing where it's like a dessert sandwich? Appearance is as important as taste, and not just when it comes to a fruit sandwich. And the same goes for any dish, like the egg sandwiches we just made, or the hash beef rice we're about to make. But first, the customer enjoys a dish with their eyes, and then with their taste buds. I mean, that's true. If it looks nice, it's going to taste better. And if it looks like shit, it probably still tastes good, depending. But, like, it just doesn't look... You, you know what I mean? The dish that tastes really good but looks kind of gross, or the dish that looks really good and tastes good. Like, you're going to pick the one that looks good. Even if it tastes, it's good. But then the one that looks, eh, tastes phenomenal. You know, my cooking looks kind of, eh, but usually tastes pretty fucking good. Once you excel in this area, you'll be a true chef. You are not confident you can do that? I don't expect you to be perfect right away. It will take a good deal of experience. And that's why I'm here. As well as the cooking, I can also help with customer service, back-end tasks, and managing the staff. The manager's responsibilities are wide-ranging, and it's only natural that it'll take time for you to become accomplished in all areas. Teach me, Daddy. What? God. This, is, this game is making me like... Okay, I need you to teach me, and when I'm wrong, could you spank me? What? <sighs> it's amazing that it took this long to get this inappropriate. I was holding back. I was waiting for this route to let... to unleash the just inappropriate whore that I am out. Even though, if they made me read a sex scene, you know, I'd be like, oh god, no, could we not? Again, I'm all talk. I am all fucking talk. 
It's all fine in the imagination, but when it comes to reality, it's like, please don't. I don't want to do that. Thanks. Okay. So let's take things one step at a time. <laughs> With that much enthusiasm, I'm sure you'll be fine. And now, if you'll excuse me, I need to check on the saucepan. Is the, uh, fruit sandwich ready? I see. Another, uh, fruit sandwich and an oolong tea for table nine. Good luck. What a beautiful sandwich. Oh, did I startle you? The hash beef rice? I finished making it and handed it over to Dill. You must not have noticed because you were so engrossed in your own cooking. While I can't say it's perfect, you have certainly improved since the first attempt. If you continue to practice, you'll only get better. You want to keep practicing until it meets my standards for perfection? I am certain you will get there. Oh, look, he's blushing too. I'm blushing. Like... <laughs> You want to meet my standards of perfection? Yes. Anything for you, Fennel. I want to be perfect for you. <laughs> I mean, okay, but yeah. No, I, I can't. Uh -huh. Why are you so surprised? I told you I'm expecting great things from you. You want the cafe to flourish as it did when your grandfather was running it. I see. You want to carry on his legacy. We may not be as emotionally invested in this cafe as you are, but we empathize with your feelings. Oh, while the design of the kitchen and its facilities are not modern, I can tell that it has been used with care. And the metal shows sign of wear, but it has all been polished to a shine. And by the way, the old clocks on the wall have been dusted, and they're all set to the correct time. What is that you were doing? I thought so. Hmm. You asked your old friend who's now a watchmaker how to set them? Oh, you're pleased that I commented on it. I see. So you thought no one would notice? You're happy that I've been paying attention to the decor, too. It's obvious how much you love this cafe. If you didn't, you wouldn't have waited to take o you wouldn't have wanted to take it over immediately after graduating. Hearing how you feel about this place has made me even more determined to train you as thoroughly as possible. This is some borderline BDSM shit that's gonna happen here. I don't know. Look, I'm just waiting. Like, look, if this is so innocent and wholesome, basically. Aside from the inappropriateness that lives in our heads, like, God, boy, hey, what? <laughs> but I am making this so inappropriate, and I can't help it. I feel like they wanted you to do it. They're like, it's going to train us thoroughly. Oh, are you? Okay. What? <laughs> oh, my God. You think with my help, you might be able to become a truly worthy manager. I believe you mean will, not might. And next time we get an order for a fruit sandwich, it will be all yours. Once I deem the results perfect, we can move on to other tasks. Yes, and I will act as your proxy when it comes to management duties. You're worried? Hmm, I see. So you aren't worried about the work, but about me. And that I could collapse from the strain of taking so much on. Worry not, for I take good care of my health. You won't find me collapsing from overwork. And that being said, you should take care of yourself, too. If anything happened to you, the other cat boys would be in an uproar. No work would get done. I don't believe I'd be able to maintain my composure either. Even I would be beside myself if something, someone close to me took ill. In that regard, I am no different to any other cat boy. So please do not push yourself too hard. Are you guys done yet? Hmm? Uh, Laurier, how long have you been here? Ever since. It's all been polished to a shine, I guess. So basically, the whole time, you really should have said something rather than skulking around in silence. I didn't want to ruin the moment. You know, maybe I should have. You owe me one, Fennel. Get! What are you doing? Okay, never mind. You're fine. He just flew into the kitchen. Normally, what the fuck are you doing? He's just sitting on the couch. Probably because he wants to take a tubbies, but you can't. I can't get up and turn the water on for you. You're going to have to wait. He's. <laughs> Siege, we need one iced coffee, one iced tea, and one iced cafe au lait for table six. Coming right up. What did he mean by that? You weren't sure either. Well, that was weird, the loading. What are you doing? He normally flies into the kitchen because he wants tubbies, but now he's like over there because I have the dishes when they're clean go on the right side, the dirty dishes either in the sink or like... So, like, my coffee mug, I reuse it a couple times, so it's sitting on the left side, right? But he's over there, like, what are you, 
and I have my cereal bowl. Like, I'll like rinse it out kind of clean and just still just leave it on the side of the sink instead of putting it with the clean dishes. It's on the side. Like, that's my holding pattern, my cereal bowl and my mug. And he's just over there like trying to eat. Like, don't you get in that bowl. He's just over there licking my fucking plates. <laughs> like, and my spoon. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, he's fine, but it's just weird. I don't know. Anyway. Got another order for table eight. One chef special pasta and a tea. <laughs> you beat me to it. Well then, I shall leave the I shall leave cooking the pasta to you. After that, you can help me with some other things. I'll be counting on you. And do you have a moment? Remember before we opened, I said that I would contact the web design company. When I checked my phone, I saw that I had a response from them. Could you take a look? Okay, please have a seat on the sofa and I'll be right back. Thank you for waiting. Yes, this is my personal laptop. Whenever I have a spare moment, I've been creating a simple document to track sales and stock, so please take a look at that too. And no, it really is nothing special. All within the realms of my job as substitute manager. Having said that, I'm being as diligent in the position as if I were the actual manager. Hmm. You want to learn as much as you can as quickly as you're able so that you can lighten my load. Thank you. I will continue coaching you until then. Now then, here is the website now that the revisions have been implemented. It's just over there looking at my silverware. <laughs> Look. They've done exactly as you wanted. Understood. I'll let them know we would like to go ahead with the changes. What are you doing? Hmm, checking the website together, are you? Mind if I sit next to you? I believe you are supposed to wait for permission before you sit down. Don't you have- Oh, don't you have customers to attend to? Here's the thing. If you give me a fennel CG and Laurier's in it, I might not mind, but I will. Like, there's a part of me that's going to be like, I mean, our two favorite cat boys. But also, don't you dare, game. I just waved him off. Besides, the cafe closes at 6 p.m., right? That's only 20 minutes away, so I doubt we'll get any more customers. Indeed. We should prepare for closing, so please go call Dylan Sage from the kitchen. Yeah, I'm worn out from all that work. You go get them. Hmm? You go? Right now, I need you here to pamper me. Aww, poor baby Fennel. Is his route, Laurier, out? What's wrong? You look like the cat who didn't get the cream. Perhaps you need your eyes checked. I'm terribly sorry, but I still need to get her confirmation on a few things, so please do as I asked. Fine. Since I got to see the look on your face, I'll follow your orders just this once. Hold on a second. I love you, but you're a pain in the butt. You crazy boy. All right, he was in the middle of the sink. He was like on the sink, like, hello, turn the water on. So I turned the water on and then he's like, I'm going to sit on you. Did you want tubbies or not? I'm going to walk away. Goes to the sink, flies away. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck he wants. So he didn't want tubbies. But I was like, I'm going to go turn the water on so he's not sitting over there for the next 20 minutes, like, playing with all my fucking dishes and shit. But, like, all my clean dishes. I don't want a bird walking all over him. Like, weirdo. I don't know what he wanted. Anyway. We have reviewed the website. Oh, yeah, that was almost Laurier's voice. We have reviewed the website. So now let's take a look at the sales and stock tracker. What do you think? The category names are easily understandable, and the color coding makes things easy to identify. <laughs> And then I don't need to change anything. Mew! We're finally finished! I am so tired! Yep, I didn't get a single break we were so busy. Even I'm beat. Yeah, let's close up shop so we can head home. A great work today, everyone. It is thanks to your considerable efforts that we were able to welcome in so many customers today. You all deserve a pat on the back. Well, let's keep it up tomorrow, too. We must remain diligent lest we allow ourselves to grow complacent. That is all for me. Do you have anything to add? Oh! Having you cheer us on gives me a real boost. Yeah, I'm totally re-energized. I suppose I'll work hard again tomorrow. It seems that your words of appreciation have had more of a motivating effect than mine. <laughs> Thank you. You're too kind. Stare. Er, do I have something on my face? Aside from gorgeous? Say! 
Don't she and Fennel seem awfully close? Yeah, I thought the same thing. Guess they've finally gotten friendly after spending all that time together in the kitchen. I like how Sage, like, Dill is, like, always very jealous. And Laurier's a little like, huh. And Sage is like, everybody's awesome! Like, he's just... He's everybody's friend. I knew Fennel was gonna be the biggest nuisance. At this rate, he's gonna be the winner. I mean, he already was the winner before we even played the game. No offense, but, like, he's always been my winner. Uh... He'll always be my favorite. But I'm still gonna keep all of you. That makes any better difference. Hmm. Well, then she seems optimistic about taking us all in his house, cats, so I don't think it's a competition. Anyway, it's time to close. We need to clean up, close out the cash register. Uh, what was that? Oops. That was my stomach. We were so busy, I had to skip lunch. Now that we're all done, I guess it wanted to let me know. Uh, now I realize I'm hungry, how hungry I am, too. Well, what would you all like to eat? You're gonna make something now? Not right this instant. We can dip into the supplies for tomorrow. But I will go out and buy the ingredients for a real feast. But please let me know what you'd like. I'm open to any requests. I want hamburg steak! Grilled fish for me! Ham and egg sandwich! A ham and egg sandwich is delicious. And what about you? You'll have what I'm having. I did say I was open to any requests, so you were free to... Yes, of course. Anything at all. Oh, you want to come with me? I see. You can't think of anything right now, so you'd like to take a look at what's available. I understand. You're welcome to join me. We'll handle the cleaning and cashing out. Are you sure? Leave it to us. We got this. I guess we do have a tasty dinner to look forward to. Yes, I will utilize all the skills at my disposal. Now, let's go shopping, shall we? Oh my god, I love the fact that this you are so much more dressed up than when you come to work. That's like dressing down. You're like casual. God. I mean, it's not like we haven't seen him before, but every single time he shows up in this goddamn fucking butler suit shit, I'm just... I just want to curl up on the floor and be like, Oh my god, why are you so hot? Anyway. I love it. I love it, a man, a man in a good suit. And this has got a fucking vest and tails, motherfucker. Could you get any better? It's a tux with tails. I just... <sighs> oh, we should be able to get everything we need from the butcher, the fishmonger, and the supermarket. But first, the butcher for some ground meat. And now let's go to the supermarket before that, shall we? Uh, no, let's go to the supermarket before that, shall we? That's what he said, sorry. Well, you still haven't decided, right? Oh. That was just an excuse to come shopping with me? You thought it wasn't fair to make me go shopping on top of all the work I've already done? And the least you could do is help me carry the bags? You're so... kind. It's that sweet nature of yours that has charmed us all. I love the fact that he is so blushing and embarrassed right now. Oh my god, I just want to, like, hug him. I just want to wrap my arms around him, hug him, and pet him a little. It's okay. And then he just purr. And feel embarrassed. Still purr, and it'll be beautiful. Cat boys didn't know we needed them. Didn't know I had, but now here we are. Okay. As a show of thanks, allow me to make you my specialty. Yes, prosciutto and cream cheese pasta. I don't wish to boast, but it tastes delectable. <laughs> and no, it's no trouble to cook different dishes for everyone. If I make something delicious, everyone will be happy. It will be perfect both visually and in terms of flavor. So please look forward to it. Why am I so fixated on things being perfect? I wonder. Perhaps it's because I feel overjoyed when I've done something perfectly. Fucking robot, I'm just saying. Hmm. I take, for example, when you made the fruit sandwich. On your first attempt, it was a little sloppy. However, after I showed you how to do it and you produced a lovely sandwich, you said you wanted to keep practicing until it met my standards for perfection. It's the same for me. I want to try my hardest. It makes me happy to be praised for my efforts. And that's what drives to aim for the... That is what drives to... I think it's that what drives me. And that's what drives me to aim for perfection every day. <laughs> I make it seem so effortless. Be they human or cat boy, no one is perfect. And that's why we must learn to abs learn and absorb as much as we can and use this knowledge as our fuel. You're going to strive for the same thing? It's good to have ambition. With your diligent efforts and a desire to improve yourself, I'm sure it won't be long before you're a spectacular manager. 
<laughs> yes. We got a little lost in conversation there. Oh, <clears throat> well, I was a... Hmm. Sniff, sniff. My. Oh, what's that smell? I love it when their ears twitch. It's adorable. Wh what did you say? I'm acting strangely. I don't know what you're talking about. This is his thing. Oh, good. Of course. Whatever I might say, I cannot conceal my feline nature. I will come clean. I caught the scent of fish and could not help but react. I know. In front of the others, I did say there are no foods I struggle with. However, that was not entirely true. You don't understand why I would want to hide that? Well, it's because being around this particular fish brings out my true catboy nature. And I did not want that fact to be known. Oh my god. I don't want him to be like Laurier where he turns into like a kitten, but I want him to be like, oh my god, like su He is normally like this. I want him to be like super excited and oh my god, like just... What is happening? Actually have like some kind of emotion aside from polite robot. What happens when a catboy's feline instincts slip out? In our excitement, we lose com our composure and fixate on whatever has caught our attention. You can see it happening to me now, can't you? Exactly. It's on the way. It is in the way my ears are twitching and the way my tail swishes from side to side. I love it. Which fish am I reacting to? Tuna. Look, he looks so. He looks so awkward. Like it's tuna. I'm sorry. Even saying the name is almost too much. Who knows what would happen if I were to lay eyes on the pres the piscine? Because fish, right? Yeah, piscine creature itself. The thought alone is frightening. Oh, you will go purchase the fish? That's a relief. Thank you very much. And then I shall go pick up the ground meat at the butcher's. Hmm. Well, once we've bought what we need, let's meet in front of the supermarket. I'll see you soon. I love the fact that we don't get to see him flaking out. He's just like, huh, huh, huh. Twitch, 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 twitch. Over here. And not at all. I just arrived myself. It's almost 7 p.m., so let's pick up the rest of the ingredients and head home. Uh, hmm? Nah, I'm feeling fine. Don't worry about me. I'm starving. I'm super hungry, too. Like, I actually feel faint. Guess Fennel's not finished cooking yet. Nope, but something smells amazing, so I'm sure it won't be long now. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Finally! Man, we were about to start a riot. Nom 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 nom. The demi-glaze? Huh. The demi-glaze on this steak is amazing! The grilled fish is so flaky. It's hella tasty. This is pretty good. You seem to be forgetting your manners. <laughs> I was so hungry I wasn't thinking about anything else. Understandable. I'll turn a blind eye to it just this once. Please, go ahead and eat too. How is it? Absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> I'm happy you like it. Hey, you want to trade a bite for some of my Hamburg steak? Yay! Want to trade with me too? And me. We could use some extra plates. I'll wait a moment while I fetch them. You gotta be hungry too, Fennel. Sit down. No, I still need to make the dessert. <laughs> His ears were twitching. <laughs> Sugar. It's gotta be Doriaki. Mmm, can you make that from scratch? Of course. However, it takes some time, so perhaps something simpler. I've got so much food here, I don't think we'll have room for dessert. Hmm, you don't think you'll be able to eat anything else after your meal, either? I understand. Well, we can save dessert for next time. Boo! But I do think I'm going to be plenty full after the all this. I guess I just have to, I'll have to look forward to it. And I can help when the time comes. Ew. It's funnier now that we've played his route, knowing that. Like, anyway. Well, then, shall we all eat together? Yeah, come on, Fennel, sit down. Well, if you don't mind. Okay, here we go. Thanks for the food. Aww. We've gotten no CGs yet. Yeah, a full tummy makes me sleepy. 
We'll clean up so you just sit tight and relax. No, no, we can handle it, okay? You too, Fennel. You've both been on your feet all day cooking and then shopping. This should be everything, yeah? I'll carry the stacks to the sink. Yeah, you're taking all of it? Thanks. <laughs> no prob. Come on, Laurier, lend us a paw. He looks so peaceful, I feel bad waking him. The two of us can handle it, so let's let him sleep. Mm, you're right. Oh, would you like to read this too? Of course I don't mind. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. Yes, it's a book on cafe management. And the small paperback format is convenient to carry around, so I read it in my spare time. Hmm, do I have any other recommended reading? Actually, I have a book in my room. I'll go get it. Here. It's very informative. It details everything you need to know about running a cafe, complete with photographs. You can have it. I've already read it and retained the information. Besides, if I want to read it again, I can just pick up another copy. You want to buy it from me? But I already offered it to you for free. I can't possibly take payment for it. You can't accept it without a reason. Well, would you accept it if I said I'm giving it to you as encouragement for your hard work? I'm sorry, that was sneaky of me. I thought it might be the best way to convince you to take it. You'll read it cover to cover? <laughs> Excellent. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on it. Bennett! Huh. Looks like they both have their nose in a book. Yep, I don't want to interrupt them, so let's slip out quietly. Yeah. Ah, Laurier, quiet! Shh! Shh! Hmm. We have to be quiet. Fennel and the mistress are reading. They're all like, we're sitting on the couch, like, we can fucking hear you. Hmm. Yeah. Sheesh. How do you expect someone to react when you suddenly cover their mouth? Uh, right. Sorry about that. So they're reading about cafe management. I don't know if anyone has the stomach for studying right after a meal. They're both working really hard, so we should do our best, too. Do you think there's anything we can do to be more helpful? Mm, the only thing I can come up with is carrying stuff. How about not having a loud conversation while we're reading two feet from you? How about adding social media links to the website? Yeah, that's a good... Oh, that's still... Yeah, that's a good idea. I visit loads of places because I found them on social media. I don't really know much about that kind of stuff, but seems like you two do. Yeah, I'm on social media a lot, so I guess I know my way around it. I'm not that familiar with it, but I think I could get up to speed in about a day. A day? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, impressive, ain't he? Sage, shh! Right, my bad. I didn't mean to shout. Let's move somewhere else. Seriously? Okay, we can all chill in my room. It's just so funny because we're like, we shouldn't bug them. You guys, we're right fucking here. We can hear everything you're saying. Like, <laughs> we're like literally sitting here and they're like, nerds. I love them. And that was a very enlightening read. Oh, has everyone else gone back to their rooms? I mean, he was engrossed, but I mean, still. It's already 10 p.m. I was so engrossed in reading, I lost track of time. I think that's enough for today. Oh, he fell asleep. You'll catch a cold sleeping out here. Honestly, what am I to do with you? <gasps> He's carrying us. We have purple hair. I love it. He's carrying us, our beautiful catboy prince. <laughs> if I abruptly rouse her now, I'm sure she'll be embarrassed. I'll gently carry her back to her room, making sure not to wake her. I do like the fact that we have purple hair. I'm sure it's supposed to be black, but, like, it's fucking purple, bitch. Here we are at your room. Went too fast. Hmm. What are you doing in here, Laurier? Yeah. Oh, it's you, Fennel. I can ask you the same... Oh, I see. You carried our sleeping mistress back to her bed. How very thoughtful of you. And don't try and change the subject. Obviously, I'm here because this is my bed. But you have your own room. The comfiest spot for a catboy is beside his mistress. She isn't your miss. <laughs> Excuse me. We were in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> 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 
hungry, eh? Ugh. I'm making any more of a fuss will only wake her. You worked really hard today. A good night, sweet dreams. I don't know why I find that funny. Oh, you're up early. Yes, good morning. Thanks for yesterday. Oh, you mean carrying you to your room? Not at all. I'm sorry for keeping you up so late. It isn't unusual for me to get so absorbed in something that I stay up all night. When did I go to bed? I stayed up after that, so actually I haven't slept. You needn't worry. I find I don't require much sleep. You're not convinced? You think that perhaps your inexperience is forcing me to overcompensate? I think it's funny, he's like, I'm a cat, I don't sleep. Cats sleep all the fucking time, and he's like, what, I don't sleep much. I kind of a cat are you? Are you sure you're not- Oh my god. Are you secretly a dog boy? I didn't sign up for that. I can assure you that that isn't the case. You are contributing plenty. Oh, the coffee has just finished brewing. Would you care to join me for a cup? Okay, I shall pour one for you, too. Here you go. Do you take milk and sugar? I'll bring both. Yes, I drink mine black. <laughs> I didn't start out drinking it that way. Like you, I used to drink it with milk and sugar. Yes, I think it started when I ran out of both one day and had to drink it black. It went down surprisingly easily, and I've drunk it black ever since. Would you like to try it? Mmm, it's too bitter, so you don't think you could manage a whole cup. If it's a dark roast... Oh, it's a dark roast, so perhaps the flavors are stronger. Indeed, how the beans are roasted can greatly affect the flavor. A medium roast is probably the best kind to start out with. I'll brew one of those next. Oh, you read about different coffee roasts. I see. It was in the book I gave you yesterday. He is basically the miser of this cafe. He knows how to, like, coffee and everything. But he's a robot. He's a robot catboy. You're already about halfway through. How are you finding it? It has clear examples of success and failures in cafe management, so you think it should be useful? I'm happy to hear that. Thank me. Oh no, you needn't. Please don't say that. I understand. Would you accompany me on a shopping trip on our next day off? Good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Good morning, Laurier. Yeah, morning. Hmm. So this is where you went off to. I'm up early. Well, I woke up because you weren't there. Yeah, I'm still sleepy. Come back to bed with me. She's had some coffee, so she's already wide awake. Isn't that right? Besides, if I'm going to bed with anyone, it's fennel. What? Nothing? So if you're going back to bed, it'll have to be alone. There's no point if she doesn't come with me. Yeah, Fennel, could you make me a cup of tea? Uh, fine. I was going to get some more milk anyway. What were you and Fennel talking about? Just how much I adore him. You were thanking him for yesterday and chatting about coffee. You like coffee, do you? Hmm, Fennel's the coffee drinker here. Yeah, he did say something about this being the perfect place to enjoy a morning coffee. Here is your tea and the milk. It's good. The milk makes it really easy to drink. I'll leave the jug here, so please help yourself. Woohoo! Breakfast time! Huh? You three are already up. Wow, you sure are early risers. It's really hard to sleep when there's a cat paw in your face. And he's like all over you and you can't sleep. You're like, ugh, cat off. I'm just saying. Good morning, Dill. Morning! Huh, I'm up early too? Well, that's because it's my turn to make breakfast today. Whoa, the gang's all here. Eat Sage, too. Uh, I'll get started on cooking right away. Would you like some coffee, Sage? Yeah, please. I shall go get a cup. Yeah, yeah. That was a big yawn. I didn't really yawn, but you know what I mean. Anyway. I was up late last night, so I'm still tired. Then why not go back to bed? I guess I could, but I'm usually up at this time anyway, so I probably wouldn't be able to sleep. But it was worth staying up. Totally an expert on social media now. Hmm? Yeah, we hung out in Dill's room last night. We were all 
working together, so it's not fair if you two are putting in more work than the rest of us. Anyway, we ended up making a social media account for the cafe. Here it is. I'll tell you the username and password, so make sure to write them down. Mm hmm. I see you put a lot of thought into this. We can post the day's specials and staff recommendations, as well as some photos. And then we can wait and see what the response is like. If it's good, we keep doing it. If not, we can change things up. We can also do some social media campaigns to attract more customers. And this would be a good opportunity to do some kind of grand opening campaign. It's great having friends around to help. And you're really glad you took the school up on their offer. I'm also glad to be working here with you. Let's do our best to welcome many more customers to the cafe today. There are a lot of people here for a weekday. Right, I haven't yet explained what we're doing here. There's a flea market being held today. See over there? That group of stalls appears to be selling clothes and accessories. How about it? Would you like to take a look? You'd like to accompany me first. My destination is... in that store over there. Welcome, welcome! Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's literally one of the fucking little things from Café Enchanté. <laughs> I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> because I'm not the only person to make this comparison. Like, So it's like Café Enchanté, but like Catboys instead of like otherworldly beings. But also, this looks like one of the little dudes. If you watch that playthrough, you know what I'm talking about. Why can't I think of his name? But you know, he gets drunk very easily. The little clay dude. That's exactly what that looks like. And I'm laughing my ass off. But also, Fennel looks so goddamn glorious in this CGI. Okay! Bravo, game. You gave him two glorious CGs. This one is my favorite, though. I love this one so fucking much. Anyway. Oh, that's why. That's why it looks like it! I didn't read before. You have all kinds of terracotta Hanawai figures. From people to animals. Were you the one who made these? Because that's what they said in Café Enchanté. They look like little Hanawa figures. And that's exactly why they look like... I'm sorry, but it's just too coincidental that you decided that you had to do... Come the fuck... You knew what you were doing, game. You writers, CG artists, you knew what you were doing. You knew. And you were like, her cafe and her dad... It's... You know what we should do? We should put this in there. It'd be funny. You did this on purpose. There was no fucking way this was a coincidence. Too funny. Now, uh, one of my relatives makes them as a hobby. You interested in Hanawa pottery, Mr. Catboy? Indeed I am. I particularly like the human figures. And their clothes and accoutrements d differ depending on their so uh, societal station. Wow. Their clothes and accoutrements differ depending on their societal station. It's fun to look at them and imagine what life was like during the Kofun era. Oh, that's right. Okay. For example, take these two men. One of them is wearing what looks to be armor, including a helmet, whereas the other is holding some kind of farming implement. They are most likely a soldier and a farmer. The women also have different accessories and items depending on their status. We can infer that those wearing a necklace are of high station, while the figures carrying water jugs are... Well, you certainly know your stuff, mister. If you buy these two as a set, I'll cut you a deal. Let's say this much? I'll take them. And what's this guy? <laughs> because this is like... You can see he's wearing armor and a helmet. Is he really? He looks like he's wearing... A, he looks like a light bulb with arms. Like... Great! I'll also take this one, and that one, and that one there. <laughs> you sure do like your Hanawa. Since you're buying so much, I'll throw in this keychain for free. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, too. My relative's gonna be thrilled to hear that a true Hanawa fan bought him. I've wrapped him up in newspaper, but do take care not to drop him. Of course. Hey, little lady. Here's a freebie for you, too. You can't accept a free gift when you haven't even bought anything? Oh, come on. What's the harm? Hmm. Mine is a man, whereas yours is a woman. Oh, I figured you'd notice. Perfect for a lovely couple like yourselves, don't you think? Oh, yes. Hmm? Oops. Looks like that might be a bit premature. Good luck, Mr. Catboy. Uh, 
I don't really know what you're referring to, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Sounds like you might still be a ways off. Do come again, both of you. I haven't made him my house cat yet. Then I make him my boyfriend. I will. Please convey my thanks to your relative for the wonderful figurines. I bought so many. <laughs> I am most looking forward to getting back home and displaying them in my room. Now then, I finished with my shopping so we can visit any store you like. Over there? Oh yes, they do have a lot of books. And there may be some hidden gems. Let's go take a look. Welcome! Feel free to browse! Hmm, these have all been well looked after. I can tell that these books have been treated with love and respect. In that case, I wonder why he would sell them. Oh, I'm moving, so I need to get rid of some of my book collection. Having said that, you're right about how much they mean to me, so I'd like it if I could sell them on to people who treat them with the same level of care. Does anything strike your fancy? And there's a book you used to love as a child. What would you show me? Hmm... A story of a young boy and a princess. Is it a young cat boy and a princess? Because, yes. My girl used to read it all the time when she was little. She made me read it too, and I have to say, it was quite a heartwarming story. You'll take it? Thank you very much. I'm glad you found a book you liked. It's for me. You want me to take it as thanks for the other day? I think you accompanying me shopping is thanks enough. I can't possibly accept any more. It's a really good book, so you'd like for me to read it and tell you my thoughts. I understand. And then I shall gratefully accept. And this is for you. Yes, it's one of the Hanawat figures I just bought. <laughs> yes, it has the most wonderful expression. It's my favorite of the bunch. What's that? You're not sure you can take it since it's my favorite. Well, that's why I want you to have it. What would you like to do now? Look around the stalls a bit longer. I want to just pet you. Scratch behind your ears. You're such a good boy. God, I love him so much. And since we're here, we might as well. Okay, let's head further in. It's gotten quite dark. <laughs> I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself. Shall we head home? Mew! Mew! <laughs> he was outside meowing. Oh, poor little baby cat boy. Laurier, Sage, Fiddle, and the Mistress are back. Finally. Welcome back, you two. Hello. Were you waiting for us by any chance? Um, yeah. Since you both disappeared, we figured you'd gone out together. Looks like we were right. Going behind our backs is a low move. The next time, you gotta invite all of us. Hmm? What's that you got? Hanawa figures. Hanawa? Yes, the unglazed clay is lovely and smooth. Would you like to feel it? Um, I'll pass. Hmm, they have funny faces. So why do you have these? I purchased them at the flea market. We had quite the fruitful shopping trip today. I hope you'll display yours in your room, too. Oh, you have one, too? Did you buy your own? Uh-huh, so Fennel gave it to you. I'm sure there are better options for presents. Something, something... Such as something she herself likes. Oh, which is exactly why I gave it to her. I am very into Hanawa. Yes, I'm going to have such wonderful dreams surrounded by Hanawa figures looking down on me. <laughs> You're kind of weird, Fennel. And that's why I love him. I think they'd give me nightmares. Mm, they're actually kind of cute. I wouldn't mind having one in my room myself. I see you have an appreciation for Hanawa, Sage. Here, you can have one of mine. Thanks. Hmm, you dropped something. Is this a keychain? It's got a little Hanawa figure on it, huh? What's up? I was just thinking, I'm sure she has something similar. Oh, I thought so. You got them as freebies, eh? Hmm, why are you blushing? You just remember when he gave it to you? Hang on, if that's making you blush, I get the feeling something must have happened. Perhaps we're because we were referred to as a couple. What? Oh, that's Laurier. What? What? A couple? Huh? Why would someone say that? Because we were holding hands and making out. Stop. I suppose they looked at us and thought we were a couple. I'm not sure why they would get that impression when we were employer and employee, though. 
Do you have any idea? Because I was looking at you adoringly while you were bent over. Staring. That sounds inappropriate. But like while you were looking at the Hanawa figures being adorable. And we were just like. Mm, batting our eyelashes. And drooling a little. Yeah. Mm, maybe because you seem super close. Yeah, you look pretty tight from where I'm standing. Like, look, he looks like... He's, like, not impressed. He looks a little jealous, and he's, like, just super chill about it. Like, Sage is, like, everybody... You're really close to everyone. That's awesome. You're just not the jealous type. You're so good. You're such a good boy. We cannot have four jealous cat... Ha like, house cats, okay? We gotta have one of them that's like, Okay, everybody loves you. That's great. Wait, can I get a pet, too? Okay, cool. All right, have fun. <laughs> just, like, totally chill. You're always together at home and at the cafe. And you went out together on our day off. It's like you're suddenly best buddies. I don't think this means he's beaten us or anything, but it might mean Fennel gets to become our house cat first. She's standing right here, you know. Why don't we just ask her instead of jumping to conclusions? So what are you thinking? Do you plan on adopting Fennel first? It's actually kind of funny because we're adopting them, like, but they're people. You don't intend to do it right now. And even when you do, you'll discuss it with all of us. Oh, gotcha. Phew. Like, you don't intend to adopt any of us right now. That's rude. I know what she said. I know, because, like, and they explain in all the other routes. Like, no, I want to be able to adopt all of you. I'm just not in a place to do it right now. But it just sounds weird when it's like, you're not planning to do this? Like, the wording, the way they worded it in this part was like, ouch. Poor kitties. That right now part is kind of concerning. But I suppose we're fine for the time being. Hmm. Making us your house cats is important to you, but right now your priority is on becoming a worth worthwhile cafe manager. Not at all. There's no need for you to apologize for being unable to take us all in right now. You've only just started managing the cafe, so of course you don't have the leisure to think of anything else. We'll be happy to hear your decision once the cafe is on track and you're confident in your position. Manel definitely likes her. Yeah, even if he doesn't realize it himself. Guess romance is the one thing he isn't an expert in. What is that? You would like it if I continued coaching you as I have been. It would be my pleasure. I look forward to continuing our journey together. I love you so much, Fennel. <laughs> I really do. He's the best cat boy. I know that, like, technically we should end seeing everybody together but because this is fennel's part we're gonna end with his cg but we are gonna do the voice acting beforehand so i'm gonna s well let's see if i just turn the voice up really loud turn the music down and the effects down and then turn the master volume up i was hoping it would play no nah, okay all right, so, all right, so the master volume, the voice volume's way up. I turn the music and the effects down. So hopefully the music isn't too loud now. I'll actually turn it down a little bit more because I don't know what it was like before, but we want the voices to be loud. I don't know how loud that sounds to you. Um, Hopefully it's good enough, but... Let's actually go new game. We want to go into Laurier's route because that's the one we want to like hear his change in voice, but. Okay. Hopefully you can hear that. You know what? I'm going to check just to make sure it sounds okay. Um, Because it sounds okay to me, but I want to make sure it's loud to you guys. I can't really turn it up any higher though. Okay. Honestly, I feel like the music is way louder in the rest of the game than it is now. And I'm like, oh. I probably should have checked that. The music is really loud, hopefully, but like, no, the voices are fine. Menu de gozaimasu. Watakushi no osusume desu ka? So desu ne. Kochira no kocha nado ikaga de shou. Issho ni sandwich o awaseru no mo osusume desu yo. Tamago sando to aru grey desu ne. Kashikomarimashita. Oshokuji no menu wa osake shite yoroshii desu ka? Dewa, shitsurei shimasu. Oh. なんだ。みんなで俺の顔を見て。すごいしっかりした接客だったからびっくりしちゃって。はい。普段の姿から想像できません。Yeah, <laughs> no, Fennel's voice is absolutely fucking perfect.
That's exactly what I expected. Yeah, and Sage just kind of got the same tone that I expected. Obviously not the way I do, because like, hi, I only got so many voices, and I don't have a sexy Japanese man voice, so. But no, Sage has the same kind, like, that's what I would expect. I actually expected Dill to be like a little cuter, but. So this net. では、ローリエさんとディル君に任せましょう。僕はい。接客練習でほぼ問題ありませんでした。それに短い付き合いですが、あなたは周りに目を配れます。そういう猫は接客向きです。フェンネルさん。It's still got the tone. It's just a little bit Slightly deeper than I expected, I guess, but it still it still fits. You know what I mean? It's just slightly different. <laughs> but he still has the excitement. Like, you know what I mean? Like. ということは、俺とフェンネル、彼女が厨房だな。彼女はオーナーなので、厨房だけでなく、接客から裏方作業まで担当してもらいます。不安ですか？ そのためにわたしがついていますわからないこと自信がないことはわたしにきいてくださいあなたがりかいするまでおしえますうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
さて閉店後も仕事はあります厨房や店内外の掃除レジ締めですねうんやっぱり猫使いが荒いあっあっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっそれだけじゃ足りない膝枕して頭を撫でるくらいはしてもらわないとな僕たち全員ってことさすがにそれは彼女が大変じゃない僕は頭を撫でるだけでいいよあその時は耳の後ろも一緒に撫でてくれると嬉しいな彼女も疲れているのにそれをご褒美にしませんよそうなのかうーん他はダメだ高3答えを教えてくれ少し待っていてください箱クンクンクリームそれにスポンジの匂いもするもしかしてロールケーキか正解ですロールケーキが4切れ余ってしまったのでこちらをご褒美にしようと思っていますやった俺も甘いものは好きだから嬉しいな<笑> I love cake. 私とセイジさんディル君彼女ちょうど足りますね<笑>この余った材料はロウリエス悪いこと何ですかああそうですね Sometimes it doesn't skip when you have the voice acting on, which is unfortunate. Oh my, oh, um, oh, wait. I'm sorry, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, 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 wait. Even though you don't hear all the lines, you know what I mean? Okay, this is gonna. Here we go. This is what we came for. Yes. Dare mo inai na. And the best part is, is he talks normally. Nani ka. Oh. Konna tokoro ni roll cake ga aru. He's talking normal, but he's like, oh, look at this Swiss cake. Ah,、uh, Swiss roll. Ah.、Uh. And then he's gonna act weird. Kono roll cake. Tash katte ni taberu no a yoku nai na. I skipped too soon, I'm sorry. Chotto, hitokchi dake nara. I love that that's in his head. Vare. お姉ちゃんだお姉ちゃんちょっと待っててこれだけ食べちゃうから It's not quite as cutesy as I was expecting him to go But there is like a There's like a this And then it's like this but あ指にクリームがついてるあっ<笑>お姉ちゃん僕の顔じっと見てどうしたのうん顔にクリームついてるうん。He definitely does get like cuter in the sound. It's not as drastic as I was expecting, but it's still kind of funny. 甘いお姉ちゃん教えてくれてありがとう。<笑>ん僕僕、ローリエ。お姉ちゃん。僕のこと忘れちゃった忘れたわけじゃないの僕がいつもと違うからってうーん何もおかしくないよ僕いつもこうだもんえ僕の年うんとうんとうーん覚えてないでもまだ子猫だよお姉ちゃんなでてなでて僕撫でられるの大好きどうしたの
お姉ちゃんすごくびっくりした顔してるちょっとだけ待ってうん待ってるふふん待ってる間残りも食べていいのはーい<笑>うんもういいのあお姉ちゃん甘いもの好きよかったじゃあこっち来てもっともっとこっち顔顔近づけてスリスリスリ<笑>ジュー痛いお姉ちゃん突き飛ばすなんてひどい This is just funny. ん僕がいきなりチューってしようとしたから突き飛ばしたのキスじゃないよお姉ちゃんにおすそ分けうんお姉ちゃんも甘いの好きなんでしょでも僕がロールケーキ全部食べちゃったからチューってしておすそ分けしようと思ったの気持ちは嬉しいけどチューってされるの困るのうーんなんで困るのかわかんない It's a little uncomfortable because he does go. Oh, he gets super cute in his voice and is a little more and is a kind of adorable, but it's. There's difference between having a cute voice and talking like this. I don't understand. Do you want huggies? It's. There's a little. There's a difference. There is a drastic difference between, like, even like. Oh, that's a cute little birdie. And. Was a little birdie. Wordy said things to me and I want to play with him. You know what I mean? There's just. There's something about that tone of voice that's a little. And then my bird's over here, like, what? Were you talking to me? I wasn't talking to you. I don't talk to you like that. I do do cute voices. I do. I do baby talk to you, but it's different. It's different. We don't talk like this to you. See, he bit me when I did that. Oh, <laughs> Nancha. Oh, Naka, you're a big one. So, that's why I don't like that. This is too funny. Okay, we've got to go back. Like. タイトルに戻るぞ。Yes. ネコパラ、キャットボーイズパラダイス。思い出のアルバムだ。It's beautiful. Look at him. Oh, our precious best boy. We got a lot more Laurier in this part because of the voice acting, but I just really had to hear what he did for that because I was. <laughs> Translation was a choice. Uh, but this is my absolute favorite. I love him so much. I want to play with his little ear fluffies. Like. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah, that's the only one, so. There's all of our things, and anyway. Um. This was fun. This was, this was great. And. Any complaints I had were just thrown out the window when you got the voice acting on, and you're like, never mind, I take everything back! I do think that Dill had a lot more of a row. I feel like they put a little bit more into his. Fennel's was actually not disappointing. I was pleased because it felt shorter. Like, shorter? Shorter.、Um, I was trying to say it felt short, and then I was changing it to shorter. But anyway.、Um, it felt a little bit. Oh my god. Beats save. It's like, I was like, why does it look so familiar? It's the Beatles' help. That's kind of what the album looked like. Okay. I'm just saying, nice job.、Um, it felt a little shorter, but it could be because maybe we didn't talk as much, or maybe it was shorter. I don't know. You know, and I can never quite tell when it comes to me and doing these things, but at any rate, I think they did give him a little more love in the CG department just because, you know, they kind of popped the same one up twice. You know, and then Laurier, at least that one had two versions, but Fennel and Sage didn't really get. And it's just kind of like, I like it to be consistent. It's not like, I mean, we at least got two CGs for each, even though 
Dill's one had like three variations and one of Laurier's had two and the other ones really only got one. I can't be mad about that, but at the same time, it's just... I, we're just used to games where the canon boyfriend is like 30 CGs and your favorite is six and you're like, the fuck is this bullshit? You know? Um, but uh, this CG of Fennel is fucking great and I love it, so I can't be mad about it. And I'm pleased with how they did his route, like his story. I please, we spent some time alone with him because poor Sage got no alone time. I really do feel bad for him, but Fennel is best boy. Fight me. I actually don't. If you want, if one of the others is your best boy, you have fun with that. I will keep Fennel to myself. If you, I will fight you if you think you're taking Fennel from me. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, um, yeah, so I will see you guys around in other things. This was a fun little side jaunt that we had. Um, I'm not planning to do any other kind of one off things on Sundays again, um, just because I got a lot of, we've got a lot of other stuff coming up later on this month and stuff with new games coming out and whatnot uh that might already be put look i don't know like you know i record things in advance but so i gotta make sure i'm prepared for those and whatever so anyway yep i hope you enjoyed it and remember if you want to listen to all the voice acting go download the game it's free you're not wasting anything but time and it is a good use of your time it really is and then leave an awesome review because the more people that download this and all that shit means maybe they'll give us more. Maybe they'll do DLC. I would pay for that. Maybe they will do another game. Um, as long as you include Fennel in that, that's fine. I would just I would pay for just Fennel. Just Fennel DLC. Two decades worth of Fennel. Just nonstop. I will do it. I don't care. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys around. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.